Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira service management tutorial, I'm going to talk about queues in Jira service management and what exactly queues are, how you can set up new queues and manage those into your Jira service management project. So we'll go to the IT service management, RCV IT service management project. And in order to set up or understand what queues are basically. So queues is something which is, say for example, in an IT company, right? So you have a laptop issuing department and there is a software related issues. There is a department for that, which, which manages any of the issues related with the software. And then even within that, you could have specific software for which there could be dedicated teams that are working right now each of these issues that are being raised if they are categorized as just you know a single at a single category level or a single queue that will be a nightmare to basically filter them out right so in order to pass on all of these incidents or the issues or the requests that are being raised to the right team that can help you can create queues and queues can have filter criteria and based on say for example you can create a issue type or a specific uh, custom issue type that can relate to that particular request type right and then it can move to a particular queue and queue will have the dedicated team so each queue you can associate with the particular team or the members that can access or that will be able to see what all requests have been assigned to that particular queue and they'll be able to work right so it's very simple phenomenon simple uh, process like even in bank when you call you will be having if you are having queries related to home loan you press one if you are having queries related to credit card you press this button and then accordingly in ivr system you have this system as well of queuing right so in jira service management you have the queue option as well so if a particular request is coming for a particular reason or particular incident or a software or hardware it goes to the right queue and the right team is able to have a look at it right so that's the basic fundamental of what queues are so in order to go to the queues, you will see the first option itself in the project is queues, right? So if I click on queues, you will see that you have by default, there will be queues available. So there, there is a queue star, which is basically select a star icon next to the next to your queues to add them here. Uh, and the, the start queues will be basically available here. Okay. So you have the team priority. Okay. So for example, these are the queues here. Okay. So if I star this one assigned to me, you will see start queue is appearing here. So by default, you have all open unassigned and assigned to me queues already there. And I can create new queues for this particular project, right? So this is a service management project, pro, project. And within my organization, there could be queries related to a software related to courses related to hard, hardware, depending on how big my organization is accordingly i can go ahead and click on manage queue to create custom queues okay so if you go to manage queue you will see there are three queues already right so all open assigned to me and unassigned if you scroll down here you will see that drop business critical queues here for all agents to see at all times now any queues that are here in this left hand side will be available or agents will be or whosoever agent is working in this particular project will be able to see all of these okay but in the right hand side, you have this other wherein queues are collapsed in this group, but agents can start to pin them in the place. OK, so if there is something here, so for example, other OK is the queue. Um, queues are collapsed in this group but agents can still star and have them available and pin as well okay so these are some of the other queues so i can select say for example all open okay and then simply you know i can drag and drop here okay but i will keep it here i'll move the custom one there so let's create a new queue okay so to create a new queue simply click on uh, create new queue and then let me minimize this you will see different options here right so the new queue first thing is you have to provide the name of the queue what exactly this queue is all about okay Okay. then if we see here you can filter the issues based on certain criteria so if i click on the type here you will see there are different standard issue types right so ask a question email request submit request so for example if somebody asks a question okay then in my project i can have a dedicated team to answer the question or or any request type that is that comes as a question so i can say okay let's create a queue for this issue type ask a question okay and and simply select that issue type in this particular filter all right and i'll simply say this queue is i'll say question or all questions okay 
So I have just given a name. You can give any other name that you feel that is relevant for uh, the particular queue. So all questions and then the second option here is add to team priority. What exactly this means is queue in the team priority group are visible to all agents. Okay. If you do not want this queue to be available to all agents, leave unchecked to add this queue to other group. Okay. So if I simply check it, that means this queue will be available to all agents. Okay. But I don't want to do that. I have dedicated agents to look for the questions. Okay. So I, I want to keep it in the other queue which basically will appear in the other group, but not in all the agents, right? So or not, not to the all agents. Then here in the filter, this is important, right? So in the filter, you have to choose what issue type or what criteria will move the issue to this particular queue, right? So at the moment, if I see this is simple search, okay? You can go to JQL, okay? Switch to JQL and then write your own query, Jira query language to fetch the issues according to issue type and other criteria as well. And then based on if the criteria is being met or filter is being met, those incidents, those requests will be moved to the queue that you are creating to the all queues. Okay. So in this case, all, all questions and then what columns you want to see issue type key summary, you can customize the columns as well from this drop down. I can go ahead and add more columns. I can basically go ahead and remove some of these columns as well. I'll keep it as default. But the important thing in queues is this search criteria or the filter criteria. So JQL, I have complete course available on YouTube on JQL Jira query language. So you can go ahead and watch it to understand and master Jira query language because that is very important for any Jira product. Okay. So I'll simply go ahead for to keep it simple. I'll keep it basic. So I have selected the question. So any person asking a question or issue type is question should get to this particular queue in the status. I can choose the statuses as well. Okay. So I can simply say, you know, uh, that only the statuses that I'm choosing, right, should be moved to this particular queue in the resolution. You can choose or you can choose the label and there are many more criteria that you can basically go ahead and create a filter based on different criteria. Okay. So because this is a complete, the, the JQL and basic search is a complete course in itself. So I would highly recommend going through the JQL course if you want to master the filter and the queries within Jira. But as of now to create a queue, we have simply created the queue, right? And then you will see the create button here. Okay. So let me move the video here and you will see the create button. Okay. So simply click on create and then a queue has been created. So if I maximize this, expand this, okay, you will see that in the other all questions queue is there. If I go to manage queue, right? And scroll down, you will see team priority. These three are here and in other all questions queue that I have created is available here. And and then you will see you can basically move this to team priority or just keep it here. Okay. So now let's test it, right? So let's try to create a question. Okay. Now at the moment there are zero incidents here, right? So the zero request here. So let's go to the customer portal, right? So this is the customer portal to create the request. So let me reload this page. And then if I select ask a question, right? So if I select the drop down, you'll see that there is an ask a question option as well. So I'll ask a question here. Okay. And I'll simply say first question. Okay. And then simply go ahead. I'll put the description, same thing in the description. So because description is mandatory, if you see here and then simply click on send. Okay. So the question has been sent. Now go, let's go back to the queue here. And if I go back and then come to queues again, you will see first question. You see automatically first question for Jira service management. The key is RCSIM hyphen two. This is the second and this is a question. And then this is the queue, right? So basically in all questions, this particular question is available. Okay. And if you see all open anyways, in all open, all the issues will be available here. But anyone who is having or who is looking for all questions, right? Say for example, I I am the service agent for looking after all questions, right? So I'll simply go ahead to the all questions and see what all questions have been asked. 
and I'll simply go ahead and start working all on those questions and try to answer those questions for the customer right so this is how basically you are going to create a queue so creating a queue customizing a queue and then how you are going to write a specific filter or a search criteria to filter the issues and move to those issues into a particular queue right so that's all for this particular tutorial I hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching